What's up, everybody? Um, today's topic is phones versus camera. As you see right now, I have my gear packed up. Ooh, and I got the stack with me. The STAP, flying vehicle, you know, all that good stuff. So, today is gonna be pretty interesting. Um, it's gonna be my first YouTube video. Let some, uh, let some of you guys learn from me. Maybe uh, crack some Correct some of the mistakes I do or some of the good things I do, but hey, it's just a fun process, right? And that's all we can do. It's also a beautiful sunny day. I'm also going out to one of my favorite spots. So it's uh it's gonna be pretty fun. Alright, so yeah. the reason why I chose uh, phones versus cameras is in the toy photography community, a lot of people think you have to have the best gear, um, the best everything in order to do something which is inaccurate. It's putting your mind to something and just following through with it. Whether it be doing regular photography, wedding photography, just anything that you could possibly think of, and just rolling with it. And that's just one of those good things about it, is as long as you put forth the effort and your imagination into something, it can be anything that you want it to be. Um, one of the greatest things that I got into was actually photography, especially toy photography. Um, it let me be creative with my imagination. It just gave me a sense of direction that I had a creative outlet to really get something accomplished and something I thoroughly enjoy every day. Now, this, what I'm doing right now, I'm not used to whatsoever. So, it's, uh, it's a new challenging. Vlogging out in public, I'm not used to. I'm used to taking photography, doing my action shots, things like that in public and having people give me weird looks all the time. Uh, so this is going to be new. It's a new experience for us both. And uh, hopefully you guys can enjoy it. So let me go across the street and go from there. So this is like one of my new favorite places I like going to. Um, it's right down the street from my house, well my apartment I should say. Um, it's just a dirt road, you got farmland on both sides. It's, it's a nice quiet place, especially with all the wind going back and forth. Um, it's peaceful. It really is peaceful. Alright, this looks like a good spot. So, something um, brought out with me today that I think is really special is the phone that I'm actually going to be using today with my camera is the very first... Um, phone I had in order to take photography. Something that I hold very special to me. Now, Samsung Galaxy 6 Edge Plus. This phone is ridiculously just old now. It used to be top line, just not anymore. But I'm um, going to be using this and i um, also going to be using the Canon Rebel T6. Ah, this thing's a beast. I've had it for over a year, love it, feels good, feels nice in the hands, just smooth. Um, going to be doing a setup, going to be taking pictures of both the camera and the phone. I'm going to be posting both to Instagram, but I'll also show the results at the end of this video that it really doesn't matter what you use as long as you have a creative mind behind it. And uh, let's, let's get to work. So what do we have in the bag? Got the stamp, which I need to gently get off. Man, this thing breaks all. I'll just be mad at myself. One handed. All right. Safe and secure. Yes. Now, the base for this thing is just. Ridiculously heavy. I mean, it's got to be right in order to hold that thing thing up. And here we got everything that we need for today's shoot. Ha! Oh, so nice.
Ooh, look at the storms coming. Yeah, that looks really good right there. You know what? I probably shouldn't do this. But I'm gonna move some of the clone troopers closer to each other and uh, try to tighten up the picture just a little bit more. Because right now I'm having too much of a gap in between Airborne Trooper and uh, the 212th Trooper beating the heck out of the droid. So, it's an iffy process. Now I'm gonna get out the cell phone because I found an angle I really like. All right, make sure you know where the camera is so that way you're not covering it up when you're trying to get your shot. Don't, get a, don't be afraid to get dirty. It's all right, you can wash off. Um, the cell phones, adjusting the brightness makes all the difference. Um, can make or break a picture. It just depends how you want it. It's all up to the artist. And in this case, I'm going to dim the picture, get it all the way touching the ground, move it back, and try to keep your picture as level as possible. and just get a few different angles. What I like to do is start from the ground, work your way around. That's what I was doing with the camera. Um, it helps out a lot. Looking at a picture from just different angles and taking the picture just gives you different opportunities to capture something different. I'm not using the zoom on this because I don't want to distort the picture whatsoever. And when I take it through the editing process, I'm going to have to be very careful. Got the pictures, they look good. I'm gonna wrap this up really quick before that storm hits us. All right guys, well that's it. Uh, I just cleaned up everything back there. Got all my figures in, everything's cleaned off. Uh, especially since I didn't throw any dirt at them like I usually do. This was really fun. I think um, I'm going to attempt to really start vlogging all my behind the scenes with uh, these troopers. If you liked what you saw today, please give a like, give a thumbs up, smash that button if you want to and subscribe as I'm going to start trying to do this more often. All right, guys, that's all I have. See you next time.